Okay, so this is at the request of people who, you know, people who are visiting, basically. 今天的开始是出于某些来这里，呃，访问这里的人，呃，他们所提出的要求。Or those who have, those who are encountering Buddhism for the first time, so to speak. 那些第一次只遇、第一次遇见佛法的人。But I can see a lot of old faces. 但是我也看到很多熟悉的面孔。And for those of you who has been in the, who has been with Buddha Dharma, this is just a repetition. You are not hearing anything new. 对于那些已经啊、呃、学习佛法的人，这些都只不过是重复的，呃，重复着你听过的东西，没有什么新鲜的东西。For those who are new, welcome to India. 那些新学佛的人，欢迎你们来到印度。This is a country where you have to look both right and left, even if it is a one-way street you are crossing. This is a country, even if it is a one-way street you are crossing. This is a country where you find you can see both right you find shoes that you are wearing is sold in an air-conditioned room, and the vegetable you are eating is sold on the street. 这是一个国家，就是你发现他们是在有空调的这个呃房间里面卖售卖售卖鞋子，可是你他的菜却是在大街上买的。But as someone said, this is actually not a country; it is a poetry. 但是也有如有人所说的，这其实不是一个国家，而是一首诗。Nothing works, but everything happens. 没有一样东西，呃，会好好的，呃，就是可以好好的。没有一样东西可以好好的操作，可是所有的东西都会发生。Anyway, this very spot is also the place where one thousand great. Victorious ones are going to come, and four of them have already came. 无论如何，在这个地点，这是一个在这个地方，将有一千尊伟大的圣者来到这里，而且其中已经有四位来过了。Um, Buddhism is a, probably the best gift that India gave to the world. 佛教大概是印度给予这个世间最好的一个礼物。And I don't think India themselves have realized that they have given such a big gift. 我不认为印度本身发现到他们给予世间这么好的一份礼物。I have many Indian friends here, so there will be a lot of teasing. 我在这里有很多印度的朋友，所以他们会呃，所以我会一直取笑他们。Buddhism is the best gift to the world because Buddhism, Buddhism is probably. The most healthy, best basin of the world of non-duality. We, 佛教大概是这世界上最好的礼物，因为呢，佛教大概是这个无二的世界里头最最健康的一个基础或者一个盆子或基础。Systematic analysis theory and practice regarding the non-duality that you can find in Buddhism is 
something not easy to appreciate. But if you know how to appreciate, it is quite mind-boggling. 关于在这个佛教里头所能找到的关于无二的系统性的分析理论以及实修的方法这些都不容易去珍惜不容易去体会可是如果你知道如何去珍惜体会的话它是让你的心会觉得非常的让你觉得非常的惊奇的 so, these few days, I have decided to talk about the view of the Buddha Dharma because it, I would say, it, it is the most important. So, these few days, I have decided to talk about the Meditation, action, Methods, symbolism, you will find similarity with all different religion. Chan修行持,呃,Chan修行持方法,它的象征性的各种修法呢,这些你会发现它和其他的宗教非常相似。to be compassionate, to be tolerant, to be mindful, to be forgiving, all this you will find in, ev in every different religion. Peace, non-violent, all of this you will also find in every religion. Anyway, whether they have it or not, they claim they have. 无论如何，不管他的宗教里面有没有说到这些，他们都自称、声称他们拥有这些。That does not make anything special. 这并不让他有什么特别之处。It is the view that is fundamental. 最关键的就是他的见地。But it, but um, it is also the most difficult to. Uh, Discuss. Very difficult to comprehend. Because in order to understand the view, you have to also go beyond, uh, beyond a certain um, thinking system that we are so used to. And not everybody is brave to even uh, want to go there. 而并不是每个人有那种勇气要去探索。Because not everybody wants to experience the constant pulling the rug out of your feet. 因为并非每个人想要体验这个,呃,就是好像你从脚底把你的这块布给拉走,就是让你整个人颠覆的那种感觉。Once and twice, once or twice, Pulling the rug out of your feet is kind of tolerable, but constantly pulling rug out of your feet is unacceptable for the normal way of thinking. 
就是颠覆了你的想法，这是可以容忍的。但是如果时时刻刻不断的这么做的话，对于一个普通的人来讲，普通的想法是难以接受的。And Buddhism does that exactly. 佛教做的就是这一点。So much so that you end up knowing there's no feet also that is standing on the feet on the rug. 那。他用的，人们先用的是那个英语的词，呃的这个说法，就是好像从你脚底下抽走那一块布，那一块踏脚布。那他佛教不断的这么做，那最后呢，你会发现根本没有脚站在那块踏脚布上面What we are going to discuss this few days is going to be quite academical and intellectual, so you will have to bear. 我们这几天会讨论的课题呢是比较学术性、比较是智力上的呃课题，呃，所以请大家忍耐一下。Those who are more feeling oriented, I would suggest you to not miss the chance of circumambulating the stupa and sitting under the bodhi tree. 那些就是比较倾向于呃感觉的那些人，仁波切是建议你不要浪费这个机会，应该去绕塔，还是坐在菩提树下。When you hear academically or intellectually, Buddhism can be quite vicious in deconstructing everything. 当我们从这个学术或智力上的角度来讨论事物时，佛教在呃，佛教可以是相当狠毒的，就是会很狠毒的去拆解、瓦解所有的一切。Deconstruction is necessary because according according to Buddhism, it's believed that as long as you are caught in a net, you are never free. 瓦解一切呢，这是非常有必要的，因为在佛教里头，我们相信，只要你仍旧被逮在这个网网中呢，你是永远不会自由的。We have now. Now this is going to be more interesting. 现在将更有意思。So we were talking about a net. We just talked about a net. Like a fish, if we are caught in the net, you have lost your freedom. Just like a fish, if we are caught in the net, you have lost your freedom. Just like a fish, if we are caught in the net, you have lost your freedom. Just like a fish, if we are caught in the net, you have lost your freedom. 那我们定义一下，当我们说这网的时候，我们在说些什么呢 ？According to Buddhists, according to Buddhist philosophy, especially in the Mahayana, all the fixation, grasping, are what we call net. 根据佛教的呃哲学当中，尤其是大乘佛教的看法，所有的执着、执取都是这个网。When when I use the word fixation and grasping, you may immediately think probably there are things that are probably there, are, you know, things that are not binding. 当人们接着说到执着、执取的时候，你可能会想，也大概有些东西是不会将我们。绑住、捆住的。Um, actually, it's quite quite vast because here we are talking about 
the any kind of concept is a net. 其实这是相当广泛的，因为我们在这里讲的是任何一种概念都是个网。The moment you have a concept, that is a net. 你一旦有这个概念的那一刻，那就是个网。Here I'd like to quote a shloka from an aspiration made by the Shakyamuni Buddha. 在这里，仁波切要跟我们念一个，呃，一个这个释迦牟尼佛本身发愿的一段寄送。He did lot of prayers when he was a bodhisattva. 释迦牟尼佛还仍旧是菩萨的时候，他做了许多的祈祷。He said, "One day I'm going to become enlightened." 他说，有一天我将会证悟成佛。After when after I achieve enlightenment, I'm going to teach. He said, "I will become a Buddhist. I will start teaching the Buddha." And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. And he then dedicates his life to teaching the Buddha. 他就回向他的功德，那个、功德回向给这个呃佛法的传播。For instance, he says, "Ngen ngen nebi che da do rangi chowa yong da we samjin pang ba jabe ji tempe yong ring ba ju ji budam pumu chung ma da nor da lang chin ching da da ring chin chang ju ching da we tempe yong ring ba ju ji." Briefly, what he said was, "I have given up for the help for the sake of helping others. I have given up." My own sustenance, my own food. 比方就是简短的来说呢，释迦牟尼佛说到，我我为了要帮助他人而放弃了自己的食物。I have given up my own child, my children, my my sons, my daughters, my wife, my uh, rides like elephants and horses. 我。牺牲或者我放弃了自己的孩子、自己的儿子、女儿、妻子、我的坐骑、我的大象、我的马。And in return, I ask for nothing. 而我不求任何回报。Only thing that I dedicate is for the propagation, I mean the increasing of my dharma in the future. 我唯一我唯一回向的就是未来我的佛法得以传播，增盛。The last quotation is very important. He said, "Dagi mudik jenja da tavi chule darjeshing yanda tala kujur be dhamkrta da kujur jig." Basically, what he is saying is, "But I have done something so great." 那最后一段寄送是非常重要的。他说：“可是我现在做了这么伟大的一件事情。” Something that far surpasses all the act of giving my own wife and children and home and food and medicine. 我做了一样这么伟大的事情，它远远超越了我所有一切的善行，就是我牺牲我的妻子、子女、屋子、食物等等，远远超越他们。And this is one, and my my greatest act, my greatest effort. 这是我最大的善行，我最大的努呃最大的精进。And that is defeating the concept. 那就是我摧毁了。呃，我打败了概念。He said, "I have done. I have put all effort to defeat every known concept, and with this merit, may my dharma flourish." 
他说：“我将所有的努力和精进都用于打败任何可知的概念，以此功德，我回向我未来的佛法可以兴盛。” So we now know that a concept is a net. 所以我们现在知道概念是个网。So the only thing that can cut this net of concept is to have the right view. 唯一可以剪剪断这个网概念之网的，就是 is sorry is what to have the right view. 是正正见 Until you have this right view, no matter how generous you are. 直到你有证件为止，无论你多么慷慨。No matter how politically correct you are， 无论你在这个呃说话多么具有政治性的，就是正确，就是。No, no matter how ethical you are， 无论你多么道德。No matter how much you have refrained from smoking cigar， 无论你多么尝试不要抽烟， or, 抽大烟。Or not use your fingers。或者不用你的手指。No matter what， 无论你做什么 how, ，How pure you are， 无论你多么的纯净。I should remind myself that I'm in the presence of。任伯谦应该提醒自己，现在身边有其他的这些。<笑> Until you have the right view， no matter how much I set。How much we sit, we sit. 直到你有证件之前，无论你坐，也就是禅坐多少。No matter how much we are not distracted. 无论我们多么的不散乱。In other words, no matter how much we meditate. 也就是无论我们啊、呃、坐禅禅修多久。Until you have the right view, you have done nothing. 只。直到你有证件为止，你什么都没做到。Probably you have wrought some meditation cushion, but you have done nothing. Wrought. You have wrought. Rotted. Wrought the meditation cushion through lots of moisture and gas. <笑>你大概就是呃，就是通过你的湿以及气啊、呃，所放出来的湿与气。让你的坐垫就是发霉了，还是烂掉？让你的坐垫烂掉，这大概就是你你所成就的。Until you have the right view, those have taken you nowhere. You are still inside the net. You are still the fish caught. Fish being caught. 直到你有证件为止，你还是没有达到任何东西。你仍旧是在网内，你仍旧是一条困于网中的鱼。So this is why so important to to have the right picture of the right view. 这就是为什么我们很重要的是要对于证件有一个正确的概念，这不是正确的呃这个理解。Now there's a challenge. Now we have a challenge. Because we are already in the net. 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 Our aim is to establish the right view. 虽然我们的目的是要建立起正见。In other words, if you want to get out of the net, 也就是说，如果你要从脱离这个网 ，you have to touch the net. 你必须触碰这个网。You have to undo the net. 你需要去拆解这个网。Undoing the net is fiddling with the net. 
，拆掉这个网，实际上就是在玩弄，在就是耍弄这个网。So what I'm saying is to express the right view. There is no words. There is no phrase. There is no language. 就是说，如果你要表达正见的话，实际上是没有词、没有字、没有词语、没有语言可以表达它的。Words, language,、um, symbol are all concepts. How can concept points or establish or Build non-concept. 字、语言、符号，它们都是概念。概念如何能够指出或者建立或者成立非概念呢 ？This is something for those who are academically interested in studying Buddhism. Something to note it down. 对于那些有兴趣从学术的角度去学习佛法的人，这一点很重要，你应该把它记下。One of the biggest challenge in studying Buddhism is you are what you are trying to do is you are trying to establish a non-conceptual thing, but through the concept. 要学习佛法、佛教，其中一个最大的挑战就是你要试图用运用概念来建立起非概念的东西。To really learn the art of how to swim through this conceptualization and then reach the non-conceptual state, this is what makes Buddhism interesting, difficult. And takes time. 要学习这个这门艺术，就是要如何去游过这样的一个呃，游游在这个呃概念之中，去游过这一切的概念，来达至一个无概念的状态。这就是让佛教有趣。困难和费时、花时间的呃地方。So this is why you will always notice a lot of seemingly contradictory methods in Buddhism. So many. 这就是为什么你总会发现到这个佛教里的方法里面有很多看似呃自相矛盾的地方，有很多这样的情况。Here I'm talking about non-concept, non-conceptual. 我们这里说的是无概念。Yet we are surrounded by the conceptual things like the flowers, the circumambulations, the prayers, the you know prostrations and coming to Bihar and etc. etc. 可是同时，我们身边围绕着许多概念性的东西，比方说花呀，呃，绕绕塔，呃，祈祷啊，呃，大礼拜。来到比哈尔这个地方等等。But if you can really pick, you can if you develop a knack of how to appreciate this, how to how to sort of swim through this sort of contradictory system. Then you will actually really appreciate this amazing system. 可是，如果你能够挑选出，或者你能够培养出这个能力，去懂得怎么去珍惜，懂得怎么去欣赏这样的一个方法的话，那呃，懂得怎么在这个自相矛盾的系统当中，呃。就是呃，跳入这个自相矛盾的系统当中，从中就是在之中游来游去，那你就能够，你就会开始去珍惜、去欣赏这个很让人惊讶的方法和系统。This is what Arya Deva said. Kang la tong pa ni rung ma tela tham ji rung ma. For the for the one who can accept emptiness, they can accept everything. 
，也就是为什么他们说一个能够接受空性的人可以接受所有一切。I will just give you a very crude example. 给我们一个很呃粗粗粗开的例子。For instance, like Einstein have said, the time is relative. 比方说，爱因斯坦说时间是相对的。But there is no practice based on time is relative. 可是他没有一个修法，一个实修的方法，说呃，这个基于这个时间是相对的，没有实修的方法。And this and there is practice. Everything is relative, and yet we can practice A- any kind of practices accepted. 而我们这里呢，我们说所有一切都是相对的，那任何东西都可以用来呃修行。都是修行。You know, keep on saying everything is emptiness, and yet keep on applying incense, butter lamp, prostrations. This marriage between these two amazingly contradictory thing. You, you know, it's it's this is one important thing. It's not that n- not that easy to understand. But if you can understand that, then you are, you will be beginning to understand the Mahayana philosophy. 那也就是说，我们不断的说，所有的一切都是空性。可是同时，我们不断的供香、供灯，呃，做大礼拜，这这些看似自相矛盾、看似矛盾的呃东西，呃，两个结合起来，这是非常非常重要的教法。那这不太容易懂，但是如果你能够理解的话，你就开始能够理解大乘的哲理了。Okay, so even though there is, so now in order to establish this view, one very popular way of establishing this view is through presenting the what we call the two truths. 那我们为了要建立这个见地呢，其中一个非常受欢迎的建立起这个见地的方法，就是呃，为我们呈现二谛、二种真理、二 ，namely ultimate truth and relative truth， 也就是圣义地和世俗地。And please make note, even the Distinctions of relative truth and ultimate truth. We do it during the relative truth. 也请你们谨记记下来。就就连当我们在分别说有圣义地和世俗地的时候，这一切都在世俗地里面发生。This is very difficult to express, but ultimately, in the ultimate state, the word ultimate has no meaning. 就是有点这个很难表达，但是究竟而言呢，在究竟的圣义地或究竟的状态里面，这个字圣义或者究竟呢，根本没有任何的意思。Because when we when we say ultimate, it indicates it asserts automatically there has to be something that is not ultimate, which is sort of fake and relative. 因为当我们说这个“圣意”或者这个“究竟”这个字的时候呢，同时我们也表达了有所谓的不究竟，好像虚假的、相对的。Okay, again, I repeat, ultimate truth and relative truth. These distinctions, we have to do it in order to establish the view. There's no way. 任伯切又在重复。这个、no other way. 圣义地和世俗地，我们这样子把它分别开来。这个是我们为了要建立、成立这个建地呢，建立起这个建地所需要、必须做的这样的一个分别。我们没有别的方法。But we have to do these distinctions. 我们必须做这样的一个分别。And we make these distinctions during the relative truth. 而我们做这样的一个分别的时候呢，是在这个相对的呃世俗地的时候。And I cannot emphasize this anymore. 人们却不能再更强的去强调这一点。
Okay, for the sake of conversation, really? if, you, if you were now to ask me what is ultimate truth and what is relative truth, 为了我们的沟通的方便，那如果现在你问仁波切，什么是圣义地，什么是世俗地？ For the sake of conversation, relative truth is all the perceptions perceived by deceptive mind. 就是为了沟通，我们现在说，相对的世俗地是我们所有的感官，我们所有感觉感官，呃，由我们这个受欺骗的这个欺。欺骗的这个心，被骗、受骗的这个心所看到的一切的感官。The Tibetan word zok, gun zok, zok has a connotations, a lot of connotations. 在藏文里面，这个字叫 gun zok， 这个 zok 有很多的含义。It is something deceiving. 它是一个欺骗性的，具欺骗性的。Now pay attention to this. This is very important. 这 zok means something deceiving. 这个要注意，这个非常重要。Zop 这个字意思就是有一个欺骗性。Hu something that will that will cheat you. Hu 一个会欺骗你的东西。Zop is zop is like like a scarecrow, like it looks like a human for the time you know if you are in a hurry or something, but it's actually not. You know, zop is like apparent. It's apparent. So 这个字好像稻草人一样，你在赶时间的时候看，看似像是一个人，但实际上不是，就是看起来好像是，呃，表面上是这样。宁波没办法 ，no essence, the, not nothing essential. 然后另外一个就是没有，呃，没有精精，没有意义，没有内涵，没有精要。它没有一个重要的东西在里头。Okay, so you you have heard this deceiving, cheating, kind of apparent, all of that. Don't forget this. 所以我们刚才听到了这些，呃，就是欺骗性的，欺骗你，然后表面的看起，表面看似这样的这些东西。Immediately, you may be thinking, "Oh, you know, things like you know, illusions. You know, like immediately, you may be thinking like, you know, gross illusions." 你马上想到的都是一些比较粗糙的、比较粗大的一些幻象。It includes everything. 它其实包括一切。Even the enlightenment. 就连证悟成佛，也包含在内。Even the samsara and nirvana, both. 就连轮回和涅槃两个都包含在内。I'm sure all of you think. I'm sure all of you kind of know. Oh yeah, yeah. Samsara is deceiving, cheating, apparent, blah blah blah. But nirvana, no. That can't be cheating or no. In reality, even that is deceiving, cheating. You know all that. You have to know this, and especially those British idiots. 我确定你们所有人大概都知道，都认为轮回是欺骗你的。他他是不真实，他欺骗你，他就是看似什么貌似什么的那个样子。你是有这种想法。可是如果说轮回也是这样，你是说不可能，这个。你你认为轮回不可能是这样的，但事实上就连呃不是轮回涅槃，但事实上就连涅槃也是欺骗你的，也是有欺狂性，也是看似貌似什么样，但不是。那这一点非常重要，你必须知道，尤其是那些英国的白痴，他们必须知道。Especially those who are funded with millions and millions of pounds. In the Oxford universities, as a professor, they have to know this. 尤其是那些呃教授，就是用了上百万、上百万英镑呃资助他们的那些教授，他们应必须知道这一点。And I, I, I'm so really. This is one of my 
passion. I'm passionately, in, uh, you know, like emotional about this, uh, and I'm not regretting. This is Yuan Bo Jie, among the very big, uh, sorry. 呃，就是他非常热热热忱的，呃，这个关于这一点 ，about the British British professor. Yes. 就是关于这个，呃，英国的教授，他对这这一点充满热忱。那他对他是非常非常的激动，非常的情绪化。然后任伯切对这一点也，他对他这样的一种表现也没有任何的遗憾。Because in the West, monotheism is so strong. 因为在西方，这个呃一神论是非常非常的强。They just are so stuck with ultimate good, one good. 他们困如此的受困于这个，就是说有个最究竟的那一个好，那一个最究竟的一种善。And it really, even the so-called Western Buddhist scholars are not getting this. 真的，就连那些所谓的西方的佛教学者都没有了解这一点。Okay, I repeat here, everything, everything that is within the concept is cheating, deceiving, apparent, no essential, including your beloved Buddhahood. 我再次强重复，所有的一切，只要是概念。它就是欺诳，具欺诳性，是欺骗的。它是看似呃貌似什么，但不是，它是毫无呃意义的，呃，这毫无精要，毫无意义的。包括你最挚爱的这个佛果也是如此。And I hope by me saying this will now make you appreciate fact that you have come to Bodh Gaya and circumambulate Bodh because. The guy who sat under that tree realized this and taught us this. It's an amazing gift. It is an amazing gift. 我希望我这样子说可以帮助，可以让你开始更珍惜你这样这一次这一趟来到菩提迦叶，在这里绕塔，因为那个坐在那棵树下的那个人。他在那里证悟了这一点，他也教导了我们这个东西，这个非常非常让人讶异的东西。There's more to come about the about the about the British Buddhist. 关于这个英国的佛教徒，任伯谦还有更多要说的。Okay, so relative truth is a perception perceived by deceptive mind. Okay. 这个相对的世俗地是由你的这个受欺骗或者这个欺骗的心所感知感官到的。And the opposite is true to the ultimate, of course. 这个究竟的当然也就是反而言之就是那个究竟的。And then you will immediately say, "But isn't that also a concept?" 那你马上会说，那不也只是一个概念吗 ？Yes. 是的。As I've already said, ultimate truth and relative truth are both relative truth. 就如我所说过的，世俗地和圣义地两个都是世俗地。Ultimate truth and relative truth are both deceptive. 圣义地和世俗地两个都是欺骗的。But is there a way out? But 我们有没有出路呢 ？If you have gone in, yes, there is a way out. Gone in. You know, way out, way in. If you are already inside, then you there is a way out. 如果你已经进入了，那你就有出来的方法。And by the look of it, I think we are all in. 那看起来我们全都在里面，都进入了。If you don't trust. Just skip your dinner and see what happens. 如果你不相信我的话，那你就不吃晚饭，然后看发生什么事。Okay. 
Okay. Having said all of this, because now we are trying to approach this, and trying to really understand the Buddhist philosophy, so this is with a, the, this alone proves the compassion of the Buddha. You know, when he taught, it's a bit like this, when he taught, he knew he was lying. But this was the only way. And this proves he, is, he was compassionate. 尽管我们说了这一切, 可是当我们要去趋近的时候, 我们, uh, 要理解，就是我们我们真的要理，当我们要真的要趋近，真的要理解佛陀的这个佛法的哲理的时候，单单这一点就证明了佛陀是佛陀的慈悲。当佛陀在教导的时候，他知道他在撒谎，可是那是
valid relative truth is things like the moon in you know in the sky. 能成立的世俗地就像天天空中的月亮一样。Invalid relative truth is like the moon in the lake. The reflection. They are very similar, but you know, the moon in the lake doesn't do much. It just looks like moon. That's about it. 它不成立的世俗呃世俗地，就好像在呃湖中的呃这个月月亮的倒影，它们看起来很接近，但是这个水中的这个月月亮的倒影呢，做不到什么，没什么用处。Okay, again, bear in mind, we are talking about relative truth. 现在你要记得，我们说的是世俗地。Okay, we are now slicing the relative truth just for us to. Sort of, you know, exercise our mind. We are sort of categorizing. Now we will take the relative truth and cut it into pieces. It is just to let us move our mind, let us use our mind, let us understand. So now we have to define what do we mean by valid. How do we define valid? What makes something valid? 那我们现在要谈就是，呃，我们说这个能成立的、能立足、能成立的是什么意思呢？我们如何将它定义 ？One, the, there's a sort of many different、um, ways to sort of value how how one become how something is more valid. 有很多不同的方方法，让我们来呃决定，来取决说呃这个东西是不是成立的，还是不成立的。One is consensus. 一个就是大家是否都同意。You know, sort of everybody agrees this is Bodhigaya, so it happens to become a Bodhigaya. So it's a valid relative truth. 这就好像大家都说这里是菩提迦叶，所以它就成为了菩提迦叶，这就成为一个呃能够成立的呃世俗地。Um, the other is function. Okay, so when so many people agree something is valid, then it becomes valid. Okay, it's very arbitrary, so don't argue. You know, you know, with me, it's very arbitrary. 当这么多人同意说这个是成立的，那这个就是一个成立的世俗地。呃，这个这一切都是，其实就是没有一个真正的很真实性，就是这样子成立的。那另外一方面呢，还有我们看它的功能，它的功用。What? Um. Then、uh, the next is the function. If something functions like that fan is functioning as fan, that's why it has become a fan. As arbitrary as that. 那另外一方面呢，就是它的功能。如果这个风扇它的功能，它能够使用它像一个风扇一样使用它，它就成为风扇。所以它就是这样的一个呃比较虚虚设的出来的一个呃成立的世俗地。Like um, <clears throat> if you give an espresso machine to um, some remote villagers, it's not an expression machine. Espresso machine for them. 如果你把一个这个 espresso 的咖啡机呢交。带交给一个非常偏远的呃这个村子呢，对他们来讲，这不是一个咖啡器。Therefore, it's not going to function as an express mission. Probably they would sit on it or something like that. 所以它的功能也不将将不会是一个弄咖啡的咖啡器，而它可能会坐在它上面。Okay, so one way to judge validity is function. 所以，其中一个让我们来判断它是否成立呢，是看它的功能。And another way to judge something is valid is that which is a result of a cause and condition. 
，另外一个来判断的判断它是否成立，就是那是一个因和缘所造成的结果。You plant the marigold seed, marigold comes. So marigold has to be marigold. You plant this marigold seed, marigold comes. So marigold has to be marigold. If you plant a marigold seed and out comes express omission, then we have a problem in the world. If you plant this marigold seed, marigold comes. So marigold has to be marigold. If you plant a marigold seed, marigold comes. Then we cannot function because we cannot plan. 那我们就什么都做不了，因为我们不能够计划。Because anything can come, you know, like marigold. You plant the marigold, and express omission comes out. Then you are in trouble. 因为你种花的话，出来的是一个做咖啡的这个机器，那你就呃出问题了。Especially in, if you are in Bihar village. 特别是如果你在 Bihar 这样的一个乡村。Where you don't need too many chairs. Don't need too many. No, they don't need chairs. They will only use express submission as a chairs, right? 在一个这样的一个村子里都不需要椅子，他们就不需要用这个咖啡机来呃这个呃机器呃作为椅子。So you know what I mean? Cause one that which when there is that that sort of kind of systematic cause condition and result logic, then that also validates a relative. 那意思就是说，如果有一个很系统化的这个因缘和果的这个逻辑在背后的话，那这个是成立的。And the last one, this is the this is the point that I love the most. 那最后一点，也就是任伯杰最喜欢的一点。What makes a valid What makes a relative truth valid relative? 什么让世俗相对的世俗地？能够成立呢。If you analyze, it's falsifiable. 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 Yes, that's it. It's falsifiable. 如果你去分析的话，它是可以，你是可以证明它是不对的。And this, I have to again shoot this to Oxford. 那这一点，我又要把这一点就是射到这个牛津大学去。You know, here, you know, there's so many injustices here. First of all, you know, there's not only, you know, like. Uh, In Einstein, who ran away with the credit of finding the what time as a relative truth. Here, there are many, here there are many unfairness. Sorry, not only is it Einstein. Everyone thinks that he says that the time is relative. And there's also a great, uh, supposedly great uh, Western philosopher called Karl Popper. Who knows Karl Popper? Raise your hand. See, there's a quite a lot, Karl Popper, and the, he is, the, you know, some Western philosophers so, you know, so so proud of him, Karl Popper, who actually uh, came up with this idea of fal what um, falsifiable th stuff. When Europeans didn't know how to wash their face, Buddha was already taught teaching the falsifiable system. <laughs> 还有就是这个所谓的很伟大的西方的哲学家 Karl Popper， 就是所有的西方人就觉得为他们为他感到骄傲。就是当这个 Karl Popper， 就西方的哲学家，他发现了这个所谓可被呃可可以证明他是错误的，可被证明是错误的这种等东西的时候，其实当欧洲人还不懂得怎么洗脸的时候，佛陀已经发现了这些。Anything that is falsifiable is one of the reasons why it is a valid relative truth. 任何可以被证明是错误的东西，这是其中一个可以呃，以其中一个理由可以说明它是成立的。Okay, please highlight the word valid. 
，请你现在就是呃呃强调这个字呃成立。Okay, so go back. Enlightenment, falsifiable. 我们回到刚才说的这个证物成佛，证物它是可以被证明是错误的。Oh, so should we not, look, you know, work hard for that? No, you should work hard. Why? Because it's valid. 那我们是不是就不用去精进努力呢？不是的，你应当精进努力，因为它是成立的。If you don't, you will suffer. 如果你不这么做的话，你会受苦。And suffering is also falsifiable. 而且这个苦呢，受苦，苦本身也是可以被证明，证明是错误的。But fact that suffering is falsifiable, you only know intellectually. You have only read Karl Popper. That's all. 但是这个苦是可以被证明是错误的。这个事实呢，你只是在你智力上理性的理解，你只不过是通过 Carl Popper 来理解。Eat lots of chilies tonight. 你今晚吃很多辣椒。And then when you have a stomach problem, you cannot recite that is falsifiable hundred times and will fix this. It cannot. It won't. 然后你今天肚子出肚子痛、肚子不舒服的时候，你不能够就是你你念诵一百遍，呃，苦是可被证明是错误的。这个你念了一百遍都没有用。Stomach upset is very real. 肚子的问题是非常真实的。That's why it's called kunzo demba. Demba means real truth. It's very real. 所以我们说这个世俗地，这个地就是真地的意思，它是非常真实的。When you have that thing in your stomach after the you know chili curry whatever, it's very real the pain. 当你吃了辣椒咖喱以后肚子痛的时候，那种疼痛是非常真实的。And as it comes out, it's really real. 当它出来的时候是很真实的。Even after it came out, for some time it's real. 它出来了一阵子还是真实的。And of course, there's other nuances that makes it more real: the smell, the color, the shortage of water, blah blah blah. All of that makes it so real. 还有很多很细微的方面，让它非常的真实，好像它的味道、它的颜色、它不够水的、缺水的那些，这一切都让它非常的真实。Of course, if you check into an Amman Resort Hotel， 当然，如果你去入住一个安南这个呃呃呃度假村 ，They try to pretend this has had this hasn't happened. 他们会尝试假装这些没有发生。You know, with the room service and all of that. 他们就是提供各种服务。But, you know, it's real. It's very, it's, it's, it's very real. 但是这些东西是真实的，非常的真实。Okay, so you have to practice falsifiable dharma. 所以你必须去修这个可被证明是错误的佛法。In order to free yourself from the falsifiable suffering， 为了让你能够免于或解脱于这个可被证明是错误的痛苦 ，which is caused by the falsifiable emotion， 而它这痛苦是由可被证明是错误的情绪所造成的。And to achieve the falsifiable enlightenment. 为了要能够证悟这个可被证明是错误的证悟。When you don't have any more of what is falsifiable, what is in a falsifiable and not, then you are free. 当你不再有任何是可被证明是错误或不是的呃这些的任何一切的话，那你就自由了。And that is achievable, by the way. That's achievable. 那是可以成就的，是做得到的。Well, that's all for today. 今天就到此为止。